Hi you guys, Grand Rising, Rich Rising. Um, I wasn't gonna show my face, but I'm on live and I don't know. Now I'm showing my face. Um, I don't really feel like changing the angle. Either my head's just gonna be cut off. I'm lying, let me fix the angle. Is that better? Okay, so I'm just, I don't, I don't know if I wanna show my face or not. I kinda don't wanna show my face. What should I do? I don't like my hair. I'm just checking in with you guys, doing a daily check-in to see what's going on with the energies today. Um, I have the cards like this today. Like this. I feel like that's better. Let's just not show my face. But hi. <laughs> Grand Rising, Rich Rising. And let's just get into it. Just checking in. Checking in with energy today. So let's see what's going on. We do have the three of pentacles coming out. So you have been working. You've been working. I don't know if you, I don't know how long you've been working, but as of lately, you've been having a more consistent routine. You've been having a more like healthy daily routine. You get up, you get to it, and now you're about to be rewarded for the skilled work and your efforts because you've been, you know, really working like on your craft, but this is being rewarded for skilled work. You've been really focused on the details and people are going to start to notice that, okay? You could be getting some sort of like brand deal or I'm getting some sort of like contract, new contracts, new um, business arrangements. Um, people are going to be wanting to work with you. Some people are going to be wanting to work with you and then other people, there's some haters in the mix. Great. Well, at least we can be aware of that now, okay? I'm seeing multiple offers coming in for you guys. Some of them are going to be solid and some of them are going to be trustworthy, but others of them, you're going to have to, you know, read the fine print. Make sure that you're knowing what you're getting yourself into. If it's a new job, if it's a new whatever you're signing your name on. Um, what is this Knight of Cups about? We have the devil in reverse, you see? You guys are really going to have to, like, keep your eyes peeled and pay attention to who's in your energy, who's trying to offer you what. The devil wears a red dress. Okay, the devil isn't, like, this scary, like, guy in the real world. Sometimes it can be, you know, sometimes the devil is more of a darker energy but i'm seeing co someone come to you cloaked in you know nice things they like look nice it's shiny everything that's that glitters is not gold that's what i'm getting here i am seeing someone come towards you with some type of offer or maybe even they're tr they're they act like they're trying to give you advice no you're not you're this is conflict this is not good energy you should not listen to this person this could be someone at work or this could be in regards to work or like someone that you're working with. That's what I'm getting. Okay, karma forgets no one. I'm seeing here if you've been kind of stressed and worried about um, your finances, keep working. Don't let up. Um, don't think there's any shortcuts to success or shortcuts to where you're trying to go you have to build you're at the three of pentacles we want to get to the ten of pentacles but this is a great energy to be in the three of pentacles there's people that are wanting to work with you be grateful for what you have that's gonna get you to where you want to be okay we have the king of swords air energy and we are in libra season the scales are starting to be balanced here, collective. The scales are starting to be balanced here. You're intelligent. You have the information. You have the knowledge to get what you want. Okay, you have the, the practicality, the wisdom to put a plan in place. I'm seeing you being kind of stressed here in the current energy of who can I trust? Who can you trust? Okay, but like I said, the scale the the scales are being balanced here. 
okay use your discernment news use your intellect use your knowledge to weed out the snakes and to weed out the people who clearly aren't in your best interest you're showing up as a king here and you have page and knights coming in your energy nope no thank you so this is really um cutting out people who are no longer serving you this could even be you know um even like i feel like you're you're um creating a smaller circle okay um, you know, some people are no longer going to be in your energy anymore. Some people that you work with no longer going to be able to be on your team. Okay. We have Scorpio energy with the death reversed. I feel like you're going to have, there's going to be kind of a struggle to maybe let certain people go. Or people aren't going to want to leave your energy but this has to be done this has to be done okay these people are not serving your energies again you cannot trust them they are going to try to return but you really have to set a boundary you're needing to set a boundary with the current energy that you can no longer be in my energy because i can't trust you period there's you you don't even really have to explain yourself but maybe for yourself maybe to um just reassure yourself okay we have a new beginning here we have a new beginning here collective a fresh new start a new level a new level new level new devils but pay attention to the good things pay attention to the good things Okay, we have the chariot, success, self-mastery, moving forward, knowing the duality of a situation, and picking the right, still choosing right. There is right and wrong here. This is a very intuitive energy as well, connected to your intuition, making decisions that's, that are spirit-led, that you're divinely guided. Okay. There's a there's a there's a flow here. Things are happening in 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 order, in divine order, okay? Things are happening as they should. You are going to enter this new phase in your life where you are going to be victorious, you're going to be successful, there's going to be an achievement here, but then you're going to go into an energy of needing to get comfortable in this new position needing to step into this new higher version of yourself okay you're going to be gaining respect recognition reward like i said from the beginning the three of pentacles people are going to want to work with you and this energy is is bossing you up this energy is making you more confident because you're going to be able to see like okay I'm attracting what I'm putting out. I'm putting out hard work and now I'm getting paid for that. Okay, be careful. Make sure again that you're using your discernment and that I'm just, I'm be careful about your decision making. Be careful about who you're letting into your energy. Be careful about the different offers that you're getting cuz I feel like oh, now all of a sudden that you're you're you have more money or you're you're in a higher status, now all of a sudden these people want to come out of nowhere. These people want to come out of nowhere. These could be people that you know, people that you don't know, but they don't have your best interest and and I'm, I'm seeing more like like even when I was saying in the beginning of the reading there's people you need to come out now there's more people as you grow as you grow as you become bigger and better they're just gonna be it's gonna be like amplified it's gonna be amplified the devil is gonna want to come and try to take what you have I'm going to try to pull you down there's when you're when you're raising your vibration when you're on a high vibration there's going to be people below you that are going to want to pull pull you down
You can be in the same room as people, but be on different frequencies. So it's important to protect your energy and maintain that. Okay, we have Virgo energy here. Wow. We have through the three major arcana all in continuum. The chariot, the strength card, the hermit. That's seven, eight, nine. Okay, things are happening in a flow state for you collective. But this is a very um, conscious time for you. This is a very mindful time for you where you're really learning and growing at like God speed. And there's so much happening around you. Are you really needing to ground down in this energy and like there's so many emotions we go from water with cancer energy to leo to virgo earth energy fire earth like there's so much happening at once you're really needing to breathe <laughs> and you know take time out take time to rest make sure again don't forget the basics don't forget the things that you're doing like one day at a time collective yes we have a prophetic vision yes we have a vision for the future but one day at a time one moment at a time is really going to help you just come back to earth because this is major energy major shifts major growth and evolution that you're going through so it's important that you're retaining all this information and that these in the, that that nothing is able to interfere that's how you're going to um help that help create your own boundaries for yourself okay seeing through any illusions seeing clearly now nothing's going to be able to phase you nothing's going to be able to phase you what comes after the hermit the wheel of fortune with the number 10 you're almost there you're almost there you have to go through these phases and different energies to level up but you're almost at that you're you know you almost at that uh, that finish line that is everything that you want two 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 you're at the right place at the right time and that's how it's going to continue to be with this energy like this was just a continuum of growth so keep doing what you're doing don't forget to tend to the daily tasks the healthy things that you're doing throughout the day making sure you're eating drinking water taking care of your physical body yoga gym meditating okay but one day at a time and um we have the world okay we have the fool in the world a new chapter a new phase in your life is just around the corner but keep going don't be so eager to get to the end because the journey and the process is really the heart of you know why we're here and that's what builds our character and builds our wisdom even though it's uncomfortable Okay, so don't forget to enjoy the process here. And this is really about protecting your energy collective. Okay, protecting your energy. And I am seeing here that you're healing. And when and you're going through all of this and you're healing. Okay, so be extra kind and gentle to yourself. But you're also creating. You're in a flow state. Um... Again, emphasis on the healing, emphasis on the needing to meditate and get your rest if your body is asking you to rest, okay? Emphasis on everything's coming to alignment for you, but you had to do the self-work, whether you have to do this. I feel like this is a person that you're in separation from and you're, and you're you know, in separation from your twin flame or or your soul tie here okay yes there's a lot going on but you have to do the self-work first for this relationship to manifest and be its best because, because if you're doing the work you can be sure this person is also doing the work yes it's uncomfortable but everything truly is coming together everything truly is coming together and when you're at your prime when you're at your top you know, you did this all by yourself. You can't, you know, no one can take credit for that. Yes, you guys are going to come into union. But this is a time for you to shine by yourself. 
okay? Uh, again, emphasis on urine separation from someone, but they're also doing the work. As much work as you're doing, they're also doing the work, okay? You guys will, there will be a divine union, you know, like I said, when you're at your prime, when, when it's divine timing. Divine union and divine timing, okay? There's no love lost here. There's no passion lost here. There's no lust lost here. Everything is happening as it should. People, you know, both sides are needing to meet themselves and learn their lessons at their own time, okay? Okay, transmute, transmute. This is a time for transmutation and this is a time of patience. This is a time for patience collective, all right? I'm gonna get some chakra cards to see um, what chakras we're working with. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Five, 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 beautiful change. Beautiful change is happening, okay? We have soulmate, look at that. But this is a root chakra energy, so you have to meet your soul first in order for your true soulmate to come through. Okay, if you guys don't have anyone in mind, okay, you are going to be manifesting your dream soul partner. But you have to meet yourself first before you can attract a true love. Okay, we have despondence, okay. Um, again, you're, you're in this flow right now so this is a time to create and not to let up and not to um you know there's there's inspired action needing to take place right now and i do see you doing that don't forget that if you if you wake up one day and you're just like not feeling it okay take a moment get it together but you do have to you know taking action is what's going to get it together you know we can't stay down for too long and we have forgiveness what's going to help you this is third eye chakra needing to for forgive yourself possibly or forgive others needing to forgive others and we have enlightenment solar plexus okay learning this is that higher learning all right i love you guys give me a comment leave a comment down below like the video subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next video bye